today's 3D print. This is just a quickie of what I'm feeding my printers. Just a quickie. This is what the AnyCubic i3 Mega is printing. This is what the CR10S is printing. I discovered that if I turn the printer sideways, I can fit more printers on the table. I think I need more retraction when I'm printing at this high a temperature. This is Maker Geek's Crystal PLA and it requires 230 degrees to print. And it's stringing pretty good at that temperature, but I only have 5 millimeters of retraction with all that Bowden tube. So that's why. So I'm just going to increase the retraction when I print with that. And then the CR10 is printing this. Now you can see the difference here. See that opaque matte finish? That's at 200 degrees. But if I boost it up to 220 degrees and slow it down, you get that nice clear effect. So this plastic definitely needs to be printed slow and hot. The ANA E12 is printing one of those big spinning snowflakes, my biggest one yet, 300 millimeters across. I also printed that. Very cool. Yeah, kick out of this. The brim I used as the bit to hold the zip tie so you can hang it. So the brim is its own little bobble thingy to hold it with. Very cool. Some new filaments I'll be reviewing. The orange looks very cool and that translucent red looks very nice. That pink one was the clearance dark pink elixir they had at Printed Solid. So I nabbed a couple rolls of it. Harajuka Pink from Paramount. Flexi! I love that. Never gets old. And here we have the first bits of... Can anybody tell me what this is? Here's the rest of it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cool. And I love this radioactive green, which is also Flexi! That stuff is cool. One of the first prints off of the ANA E12 after I updated the hot end. Yep, need infill up top here, which obviously makes sense. These are depressions, so those are negative overhangs. Derp, I should have noticed that. But those definitely need infill there. Or I gotta change the angle to maybe print like this. Then there's no negative overhangs, maybe? Hmm, that might work. So I hate infill. The Benji's not too bad, and I dropped it so you're not going to see it. The rocket. Not bad. So, we'll see how the E12 does. The new hot end is definitely working very well. And this is identical to the E10, just bigger. So you printed a giant ornament, and you need to be able to hang it. It's one of these with a hole in the bottom. Well, just make sure you use a brim. I should have done three layers on this one, but I think two will work. You peel the brim off, okay, and that leaves you with your ornament. Okay, now that brim will fit inside that hole. So here's what you do. Attach a zip tie, two if necessary. Put two creases in the zip tie because you want to make certain that this zip tie cannot fit through the hole. Okay, now the idea is... You take your little brim that you were going to throw away anyway, and you bend it, and you stuff it inside the hole here. There you go. Now your brim is too big to come out, and your zip tie is too big to go in, although this one appears to be too heavy. <laughs> so that didn't work. But you get the, for the smaller ones, this works. This is too heavy. But for the smaller ones, like this one, it worked perfectly. The brim becomes the catch on the inside. And the zip tie becomes the hanger on the outside so you can hang the ornament. This monster is just too heavy for doing that. But that gives you an idea of how to handle your ornaments. Putting a luby bobble on the inner tube. Trying one of the Christmas trees on the ANA E12 and some new filament I got. Sneak peek. So another giant Christmas ornament, but this time in transparent purple from Zyro. Stay far away from these as they print. They are stupidly delicate until they close. They wobble and jiggle all over the place if you so much as graze it. Try number two with the transparent red deer. The first one broke its leg. A 
clear one. I love how it comes out looking like ice. Any guess what that is? <laughs> That's it for tonight. Printing panels on this and then I'll print another bauble. This printer did quite an excellent job on that. So much so that I'm going to print a 400% scale one of these in that. That's going to be pretty if it works. It'll be the a net E12's first 80 hour print. That thing's so cool! This will be one set of the panels for the 400% upscale. 15 hours into a nice transparent snowflake. Angus's Christmas torture test. And a little deer in clear. That's it. More to come later. I'm off to work.